Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Ben Danun, and you're watching Israeli News Live. Pope Francis weighed in today on freedom of speech. And in fact, if Pope Francis were to have it his way in a new world order, there would be no more freedom of speech, not in the way that we have come accustomed to having freedom of speech around the world. He said here today, uh, when, when speaking about the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, that uh, published the inflammatory cartoons on the Prophet Muhammad in the wake of a massacre by the Islamic extremists that killed 17 people in the aftermath with the three gunmen there, that uh, he, he states there that it is the freedom of expression, uh, especially when it insults or ridicules someone's faith, that this is where there should be limits drawn. Uh, he actually says, uh, quote unquote, if my good friend Dr. Gaspery says a curse word against my mother, he can expect a punch. And he throws a friendly gesture if he were to punch him, showing what he means by that. He also went on to say, there are so many people who speak badly about religions or other religions who make fun of them, who make a game out of religions or others, he said. They are provocateurs. And what happens to them is what would happen to Dr. Gaspery if he says a curse word against my mother. There is a limit. He also stated, according to the uh, report that was given by AOL News on the audio side of it, uh, defending free speech is not only a fundamental human right, but a duty to speak one's mind for the sake of the common good. But, he said, there were limits, Pope Francis uh, said, you cannot provoke, you cannot insult the face of others, you cannot make fun of the faith of others, close quote. That's interesting. He believes in freedom of speech as long as it is for the common good. It sounds very much like the speech that came out of John Hagee recently, when John Hagee actually uh, went and apologized about the Vatican and his speech against them in the time past calling the Vatican the great whore of revelation out of the Christian Bible. Uh, but he apologized recently and said that he was unaware of the close relationship between the Vatican and Israel and that his change was for the greater or the common greater good or greater purpose, kind of paraphrasing that there, was for the common good. And this is why he was now taking a new stand with the Vatican and not against them. My concern is, though, that the freedom of speech, the freedom of the press, will soon be a thing of the past, much like the punk rock group two years ago in Russia that spoke against, went inside a, a, a Russian Orthodox church and sang one of their punk songs and was arrested for it and just recently released from prison out of Russia after two years for making fun of the, the religious uh, setup in the Russian Orthodox church. It seems quite clear. As the New World Order approaches, there will definitely be new guidelines, and freedom of speech will not be one of those, at least when it comes to religious tolerance. Only your speech will be free if it's for the common good, much like a communistic regime. I'm Stephen Ben Danun with Israeli News Live.